like that. I was just gonna say you should take some pictures of it going down the road. Oh, I will. I got it. Me and Buck painted this one day. We had the hood off and painted it. Sanded it out, polished it. I went home. Buck took it out in the sun the next day. There was one metal flake in there. <laughs> I told him, dude, just take a marker and put the black dot on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? No kidding, yeah. He sanded the whole thing down again and repainted the whole thing. Oh, dude. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going to follow you guys. Yeah. All right, we're here with Bud. Bud crap hole. Let it wrap hole everything in here. Well, give us a tour. <laughs> yeah. Give us a tour. Thinking about it. Yeah, no, I got a, I got motor plates for a, a, for a Jixer 1000 and motor plates for a Hayabusa. Wow. And then I got all the uh, stuff with my shrimp friend, my Amy Cook, some Robert Williams, and then, uh, you know, this guy. <laughs> Oh, he looks, he looks familiar. Yeah. So, yeah, that's Robert Williams and the Dutch eyeball that I got from you guys. There's my, <clears throat> my Roth. My, this is my Roth wall right here. There you go. All the way across. Dad's 40. I bought that off the of dentist at uh, Paso years ago. Did you really? Yeah. And then my, uh, this was my, uh, um, my uh, uh in invite for for my bachelor party <laughs> <laughs> girls wanted it that was for chloe they had to do the swirly for chloe and you know that really cool. and then i got off the bottom over here too there's you you're right there me and oh here. right on yeah. me, me and little daddy we got it going on and then the deuce factory appropriately placed above the restroom yeah <laughs> Lower, Is this know. rock climber stuff here? Yeah, yeah, these go on. That one there. That's when you got. That one's got the LS in it. That's when you stop by, towing it back from Florida. Yeah, relay, and they just draped it over the uh, dipstick tube, probably to stab the motor, and never secured it. You know how heavy those things are. So this oh, yeah. thing's going like Bouncing this around. all the way down the trail. It rubbed the uh, siding off of the wire and shorted out. And so I was luckily I was at my house, you know, out there, wow. not on the Rubicon, because yeah. then I would have had to fucking Chinook that motherfucker out of there. <laughs> Chinook. Yeah. It's called the Diesel Brothers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, get your asses out here from Utah. Yeah, but I, and, and like months that I'm trying to talk to him about it, finally I was like, just getting ready to pull the transmission and the motor to find out what was wrong with it, and then saw their be electrical work. Oh, and guess that. what? I can't put an upper control arm on the driver's side because it hits the catalytic converter. So well, I have I to run a three link. And, and the exhaust runs so close to the lower control arm bracket on the frame yeah. that it melts the bushing like within about 100 miles. They didn't do any header wrap. <laughs> they didn't put any heat shielding well, on it. But they ran it right next to it. You can't even get the bolt out. And they welded the whole exhaust in one piece. No slip joints, no fucking nothing. You gotta cut the fucking exhaust. You get the goddamn bolt out to service your fucking joints. <laughs> fucking <laughs> sucker. <laughs> yeah, don't go, uh, bruiser. I'll bruise ya. <laughs> I guess it pissed you off a little bit there. <laughs>